Like many journeys, this one began with a map. I found it several years ago when I was looking through a cabinet in the museum's library. It was from 1923, and it plotted the course of the Schooner Blossom on its voyage to the Southern Seas. I explored further in our archives and discovered that we had a treasure trove of very well-organized materials about the Blossom Expedition. So I started reading everything I could, and I just became fascinated with it. The expedition was nearly three years on a wooden ship, 16 men. They went 20,000 miles and brought back almost 13,000 specimens for the museum. And I thought, nobody really knows much about this. I approached our exhibits director and I said, we've got all this great material for an exhibit. What if we build an exhibit about the Blossom Expedition? I showed him the archival material and he got excited about it too. And we were building an in-house exhibit about this. Building an exhibit from scratch is very ambitious. Our exhibit fabricators are making cases to hold some of the navigational tools and the specimens, and those are all being made here in-house. And we are reproducing some of the images that are gonna go on the wall, and so people can actually see those and relive the adventure. Our exhibit's fabricator, Carl Jera, mocked up all the cases first in cardboard. And uh, that was so cool for me to go down to his workshop and see that he had made cardboard jars for the specimens, cardboard birds, cardboard books, cardboard maps, and then the actual cases. And that's how he can tell the size, so he knows how big to build the cases and how much room it will take. So my journey through the archives uncovered some amazing treasures. We have a field book where they drew pictures of the fish and other specimens that they found, and they had color-coded it with a color standards book, which we had in our rare book collection. So when you pull a fish out of the water, it loses its color really pretty quickly. So the men on the ship would draw the fish, and then they would um, put little numbers and write what color it corresponds to on the body of the fish, and then that color name is in the Ridgeway. We have 400 glass lantern slides, and they have the images of the whole voyage, and they were hand-tinted after the voyage, after the expedition. And so some of the colors are a little off, you can see, but some of them are really accurate, and it's just an amazing world into what they were seeing. And we have the captain's log books. So everywhere the ship went, every single day, they were writing down the latitude and longitude, the weather, what was happening, which crew were on duty. We have all of the correspondence um, to and from the crewmen. In our drawers and collections, we have many of the birds that were collected, lots of albatrosses and petrels, and we have jars of mollusks and some geckos and some other lizards and some fish that were collected. We have the flag, the U.S. flag that was flown at the top of the mast on the blossom. It's been faded from the sun and from the salt, and they're stained. There's some extra holes that hadn't been repaired. It's having some conservation work. It's just kind of amazing to touch that flag and know that that was flying in 1923 to 1926 as it crossed the Atlantic. We have a beautiful oil painting of the blossom at sea. Unfortunately, it had a hole in it when we found it in our fine arts collection. So we took it to an art conservator who was able to repair it. One of my favorite things we're gonna have in the exhibit is we're mocking up um, a captain's desk on the ship where we have a facsimile of a map that's gonna be laid out. It's a, it's a hand-drawn map that they made. And we're gonna have some navigational tools and map making tools on that and some books. And it's gonna be like looking into the captain's desk. This expedition was so well documented for the time. Between the glass lantern slides, the photos, they also took film. We don't have a lot of the surviving film, but we do, do manage to have a film clip from Ascension Island. It's full of birds. You can just see birds flying everywhere, water in the background. It's really cool. The people on the Blossom crew came alive for me. I was just, I felt like I was hearing their voices in my head. And the more and more I read about it, and I'm still reading about it and still learning new things, there, I, I dream about it. <laughs> I actually do. I think about it all the time. I hope that visitors will leave here feeling inspired by our history and feel like it was an exciting chapter in our history. And, and also to understand that 
museums still do this today. We still go out and collect specimens and, you know, maybe not taking three years on a wooden sailing ship, but, you know, this is our legacy.